Alcohol steals happiness from tomorrow. That's what this video is all about. Not only does it steal it, but it makes you pay it back with interest. I was watching the news earlier and obviously there's a lot going on in the world right now financially and they were talking about the cost of borrowing money and I thought you know it's funny how we never talk about borrowing in terms of drinking and the cost of borrowing from the bank of booze because if you drink in order to change how you feel to change your emotional state then you are effectively taking out a loan. Do you see? Because that feeling you're hoping alcohol will provide for you is always going to cost you something. And I'm not just talking about the actual price of buying alcohol here, although that is pretty significant as well. What I really mean is, if you want to try and use alcohol in order to make you feel more relaxed, you can try and do that but the nature of the loan means that the next day you've got to pay for that borrowing by feeling distinctly unrelaxed. I'm thinking back on my drinking days when I'd often wake up at 4 a.m. dehydrated, unable to sleep, wondering why I did it. Well, I never felt very relaxed then. And as I went about my day, feeling terrible about myself and having to navigate everything with a hangover, I felt the opposite of relaxed. But that makes sense, right? That's how the loan repayment works. Just think about it. Everything you look for in booze, you will pay for by having to experience the exact opposite emotion later on. You want to drink to feel happy? Fine. But in a few hours, you won't feel that way. You'll be withdrawing from alcohol and not feeling good. You want to drink to calm down? Fine, but later on, you won't feel calm at all. You'll have that morning after anxiety. You know, the horrible mixture of alcohol-induced anxiety and a hangover, and you've still got whatever else was making you feel anxious in the first place. Do you see the cost of borrowing those feelings? It's pretty high, but that's not even the worst of it. The really big ripoff here is that when you borrow from alcohol, it doesn't actually deliver a high quality experience. When you borrow feelings from booze, it just loans you this kind of fake cheap experience. I mean, you know that the relaxation that you get with drinking is never quite as good as the real deal and the, the laughs that you have whilst drinking are never quite as good as the genuine belly laughs that you might have when something is really, truly funny. And the connection that you experience with someone when you're both drinking is never quite as meaningful or as long-lasting as the connection that you can create together when you are both fully present and being vulnerable. So really, it's a bit of a shocking deal all in all. If booze really was a bank, then surely it would get investigated by the FCA or whoever it is, because it, it treats its customers so badly. It does not care about them or you at all. So I know this was a bit of an out there topic today, but seriously, if you have been looking at your monthly outgoings recently, take a moment to look at what alcohol is costing you financially and mentally. Yes, you've got the cost of buying alcohol, which is probably more than you realize. Because if you buy a bottle here and there, and sometimes it's mixed in with the weekly shop and sometimes it isn't, then it's definitely hard to keep track of that. But you also want to look at this cost to your well-being, because that's where the debt really adds up. In these uncertain times, your mental health is more important than ever. And no matter what's going on in your life, drinking just won't help. It doesn't change anything or make anything easier to deal with. And whilst there are a lot of things that we can't control right now, the one thing you do always have power over is whether or not you choose to drink alcohol and put that stuff in your body. So I'm Kate B. Let me know in the comments what you think about this and whether you are ready to stop borrowing from the bank of booze.